Mm, smells nice, smells nice. of the yuzu. Yes. Mm. It really looks like pudding. Delicious looking. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Oh, it's too warm. Okay. Yeah. just melted in my mouth the flavors of the ingredients with the mitsuba and yuzu attained a perfect delicate balance it is really good yes it is very smooth and mm -hmm. delicious mm -hmm. yeah i like that i don't know which ingredient i will mm -hmm. find next mm -hmm. now i know why you said tamashi is a jewelry box it's many jewelry mm -hmm. <laughs> you present for you oh thank you <laughs> you know so mm -hmm. I love the ginnan. Oh, yeah. mushroom and ginnan. Yes. Oh. Mm. Mm, I love ginnan, ginkgo nuts. Ginkgo nuts, mm. yes. And it uh, has a nice color. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, very yellow. nice color. Mm -hmm. The red of the shrimp, mm -hmm. the yellow of the ginkgo nut, and yeah. the green of the mitsuba. Yeah. The color coordination is perfect. I like the variety of taste. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's kachomushi. It's very popular. Oh, yeah, any okay. kind you can do that. Yeah. Today we also have sushi here. I often see chawamushi on menus at sushi restaurants in Japan. Why do they serve this dish? Most Japanese sushi restaurants have chawanmushi on their menus. It is often qualified as a soup in sushi restaurants. Sushi is usually cold, so it is said that patrons wanted to have something warm. So chawanmushi became part of their menus. For today's theme of steaming, you taught us how to cook the traditional Japanese dish, chawanmushi. Could you give us a comment to finish up today's cooking? Okay. Low heat is the key for cooking chawanmushi. Oh. Today I learned lots of useful tips and techniques. Thank you, chef. See you next time. Bye bye. bye. Okay, let's review the cooking methods we learned today. For preparing shrimp, peel them and devein with a knife. Rub with salt to remove the odor. Wash off the slimy film with water. Blanch the shrimp in hot water for 10 seconds. Bathe in ice water and dry with paper towels. Remove the sinew from the chicken fillet and cut into bite-sized pieces. Blanch in hot water for 10 seconds until the surface becomes opaque. Bathe in cold water and dry with paper towels. Marinate the shrimp and chicken pieces with soy sauce. Remove the stem of each shiitake mushroom, quarter the caps, blanch for one to two minutes, and bathe in cold water and drain. Shell the ginkgo nuts and blanch in salted water for two to three minutes. Cool in cold water and peel the thin skin. Cut the kamaboko in half lengthwise and cut each into one centimeter thick pieces. Let's use mitsuba to add character and aroma. Tie into a knot. To make the dashi, add the kombu to cold water. Turn on the heat and cook for 10 minutes. Remove the kombu and add the bonito flakes and cook for 20 seconds in boiling water. Now you have a clear, attractive dashi. Beat the eggs as if cutting them until the egg whites have nearly disappeared into the yolks. Combine the dashi with mirin, salt, soy sauce, and mix with the beaten eggs. Strain through a sieve to get an extra smooth texture. Place the ingredients in each bowl, showing the red color of the shrimp on the surface. Pour the egg mixture into the bowls and begin steaming. First, steam over high heat. After three minutes, check that the surface has turned opaque. Then, reduce the heat. Steam over low heat for 10 minutes. Check if it is done with a bamboo skewer. Cover with the lid and let it steam by itself for one minute. 
up with a slice of yuzu peel, and it's done. Today's dish, chawanmushi, is wintertime Japanese comfort food. Enjoy. <laughs>